Hello, my name is Jeremy. This is Red Means Recording. And today I'm doing something very, very different from what I'm normally done. And that's uh, I'm showing off some iOS music stuff. Um, this little guy in the background you hear right here, I found from Mylar Melodies. Uh, it's called Synthesizer, so shout out to him. And uh, I suggest that you go watch his amazing video on the performance he did at Moogfest using only his phone. This software, Aum, which I'm going to show off to, and uh, a couple other little devices. Go ahead and stop this real quick. So before I get started, I would like to say that this would not be possible at all without the uh, the amazing video that Mylar did, and also the incredible work of Jacob Hack, who uh, you know, if you name a iOS music app out there, um, he's done a video on it. It wouldn't be cool to uh, talk about this stuff without talking about what. Uh, resource and inspiration he's been when it comes to this stuff. So I'll put a link down in the description to his channel and you can learn more about all of these instruments because he's done a video on all of them. So this is going to be about how I have decided to start using this rig and uh, what I've been getting out of it. And also I'm going to be showing off the iRig Duo here. Um, this is an audio interface for the iPad and uh, or iOS devices. Um, it plugs in via lightning into here. It's got phantom power. It has a uh, microphone uh, Nutric connectors here and um, headphone and a quarter inch and uh, MIDI as well. Full disclosure, IK Multimedia did send this over, so um, they haven't paid me for this video at all, but this was a gratis unit and I am uh, showing it off because it's an integral part of what I'm doing with this setup. The reason that I ended up getting an iPad was because uh, I wanted to have something to use with the OPZ's app, which is iOS only at the moment. But I was also really excited about a program called Borderlands, which is a uh, granular performance tool. So this is Borderlands. Um, these are all WAV files that I don't want to use, so I'm going to get rid of them. Borderlands is a granular performance tool, and it allows you to uh, record and manipulate samples um, using granular processing, which is uh, taking tiny little slices of that sample and manipulating it in a new way. So what I like to do is record a few things into Borderlands and build up a bed of uh, sounds that just sort of are constantly evolving. It's very ambient. It's very pretty. So let's do that. I'm going to go to import sound right here. And this opens another program that I've been using called AudioShare. AudioShare is uh, kind of what it sounds like. It's a, a sound librarian that lets you load samples and record samples. And so we're going to record some samples from this guy and my voice and maybe some kalimba and uh, we'll see what we can get. So let's get started. I'm gonna make a little trim right here in here and I'm gonna fade our intro and outro. Now I can import this into here. So here is the thing that I just recorded. We're gonna move it up into here. There we go. So this is what we just recorded and Borderlands, as you can see, is doing all kinds of cool little slicey dicey playing things. You can move the wave file around and you can move your granular processor around. So let's go ahead and get this a place over here. If you double click on this, you can choose some things. Actually, give us a bit more room. You can choose the range that it will pull the granular from, the grain from. You can choose the duration of each individual grain, overlap of each individual grain. You can change the pitch, the volume, and the stereo width. I don't really need to mess with this much, um, but there are some more options up here if you wanted to. The other thing you can do, you can move this around, right? So if I go up here and I hit record, I can move this. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Now it's moving all on its own. That's pretty cool. So now that we have our bass pitch here, I can record some more stuff into it. So uh, I'm going to do some vocals now. Uh... Now at this point, this is uh, kind of begging for some reverb, so I'm going to go back to Aum, which is our hub, and I'm going to create a send by going to a new audio track and saying I want a mix bus received from bus A, and then I'm going to add an effect to this bus, and that's going to be my shimmer. 
I'm going to go into my shimmer. I like to go to the hall preset. So now we need to send something to bus A. So that's going to be a bus send. Now you might be able to be hearing that reverb right now, but you're going to hear a lot more once I start up the pitch shifting. intensity of some of the stuff down a bit. So that's just one instrument using the iRig and uh, a shimmer delay or shimmer reverb. And we've already got something pretty cool. At this point, I would probably add a synthesizer and we're going to add another audio track. And this is going to be, and then again, the inter-app audio. And we're going to go down to synthesizer. Now, like I said earlier, that guitar thing was done in, uh, I believe, E or F. So within the synthesizer, I want to go into my sequence before we actually hear it. And I want to make sure that I am in E. And uh, we're going to hear what happens when I hit play. Actually, we're in F-sharp. Synthesizer is a simple uh, simple synthesizer with a very cool sequencer, and um, I would suggest you go watch Mylar's video on it because he's very thorough and showing it off. But uh, you can see the step sequencer here, and here's my synth. That sounds really good. I'm gonna add some drums. And there's two layers of drums I want to add. One of those is a sort of ambient-ish drum thing from a plugin by Audio Damage called uh, Axon. Go ahead and mute that real quick. Axon is a neural drum machine, and these little neural network things here have rules that will trigger each one of these hits. And uh, it's really cool, and um, it's a drum synth engine. So each one of these is a, a, a drum synth that you can program. It's pretty cool. The thing I like about Axon is that it's able to create these evolving patterns um, that surprise you a little bit, and that's one of my favorite things is. So I'm gonna actually add, uh, I found that this um, guitar plugin sounds really good on this. Amp one. I just love that sound uh, a lot. Now, if I wanted to, I could add a filter on here. Now we're getting somewhere. So, the next drum thing I want to add is called patterning. And this is a drum machine that has some really cool features. We are at 166 BPM because Ableton Link is linking all of these things through Owl, which is really cool. So let's find a drum kit, of which there are many free ones that you can download. You can see that we're entering uh, steps on the step sequencer here, and velocity is handled by sliding up and down, which is really intuitive. So let's go ahead and add a snare. Now I can increase the number of steps per this particular thing here if I want some more version. Okay, that's a pretty good like simple drum and bass beat. So what I'm gonna go back to this and I'm gonna add an instance of uh, a looper plugin called Enzo on top of this. Enzo is a, another plugin by Audio Damage that is very, very cool. So let's go ahead and pause this. Now, I want this to be 
two bars, and I want this to loop in a measure. I want this to do this. So. Okay, so now we're hearing the loop. We're hearing this loop now as opposed to the actual drum machine. So I could go back into this. It's not even playing. So we're going to make a new one and we're going to record a top loop on top of this. So I'm back in here uh, recording this new loop with, um, with patterning because we lost Enzo, our looper, before and uh, we have to make a new beat. And I'm using the auto rotate function here to rotate my patterns in patterning to give us some interesting uh, variation. Now we have two loops, and I can do things like reverse this loop if I wanted to, but we're going to leave this as is. I really like that. Last thing I want to show off is using this this rolly seaboard block via Bluetooth to uh, record something here. So I'm gonna add the Sunriser, which is a uh, JP8080. Priest, uh, it's like an old Roland synth, old Roland VA, I believe. So we can obviously play with that keyboard, but that's not that fun. I wanna go into my MIDI routing here. Here's a MIDI routing uh, matrix. It's really easy. It even shows you when something's playing. So here's my block. I'm gonna go block to Sunriser. So that's great if I wanted to do a performance thing like that, but what if I wanted it to sequence, be sequenced by something? Well, you can set up a MIDI channel in here, and I have a bunch of little MIDI sequencer things. Rosettas are really, really cool, and these are all MIDI sequencers of different kinds. This baseline one is super neat for basses. Weird, right? So I've just set up a, uh, a baseline thing, and instead of having um, the this thing trigger this, I want to go in and have the baseline sequencer, Rosetta, right here, trigger this. And now we're going to go in a baseline, and here it is. Um, I want to set the key, we know it's an F sharp, major. Now it's made us a pattern. Now we're just hearing a few things. So now I basically have a little performance that I could save, and I would have to go save each one of these individually if I wanted to. Um, each one of the little presets for each thing. So I'd have to save the Borderlands on its own, I'd have to save Synthesizer on its own, Axon I would have to save, etc, etc. And I would have to save this Alm session as its own thing too. And well, the, saving the Alm session and opening it up later would open up all of these channels. So yeah, that's my take on how I've been using this and this and this and this together so far.
million ways that you can make music on the iPad, and this is just one way. Um, if you like what I've been doing here, let me know. And um, if you want to see anything else uh, regarding the iPad, let me know. I think I'll be doing some more performances with this thing, as opposed to just impromptu making stuff like I've been doing today, because obviously it takes a while to get into the groove of it. But um, yeah, really fun stuff. I can take this on the bus with me. That's pretty dope. Anyways, my name is Jeremy. This is Red Means Recording. I hope this has been informative, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. <laughs>